What's up everyone? I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a new design that we've come up with. And if you follow our channel, you know that we build a model called the LAD. So this was last year and earlier this year, we built a lot of these things. They're all over the country right now, but in a constant pursuit of trying to make things better, we went back to the drawing board. So I'm going to show you what we have now. And I would love your feedback in the comments below. But the whole idea of our LAD model, which stands for life after debt, is to be budget friendly, right? So there's all kinds of people who've entered the tiny house fray. There's small families need a little bit larger tiny home. There's couples, there's single people, there's people who plan to live in a tiny house part time. There's people who buy, plan to buy a tiny house for um, investment purposes, like let's say for an Airbnb or a Verbo. Um, it just depends, right? So, like this model is meant to be very budget friendly and very small. And um, it's also meant to like, if you need to move it from time to time, it's much gonna be much easier than let's say a 40 by 10, which is our new Mondo model. Uh, that's gonna be more expensive. You're gonna need like a huge truck to do that. This one, you might get away with a half ton, most likely a three quarter ton truck, but it could be gasoline, not it doesn't have to be diesel. So I just wanted to show you really quickly the proposed layout. And if you care about tiny houses or if you just love what we're up to and wanna be involved, just let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And um, the whole goal is for this 20 footer to be around 45,000. Now this is a uh, tiny house is not made from leftover materials. It's not um, made from remnants or anything like that. This is a full on tiny house that is made from real materials. So from the trailer up, it's built just like a regular home and in many cases to a much higher standard. Uh, the reason we're able to build this for much cheaper is because we buy materials in bulk and um, we can build multiple of them, of them at a time and we can build them quickly because we have some really cool processes that we do to streamline the production without compromising the quality. So without, without further ado, let's check this out. All right, forget the fact that this is like the drawing of a second grader. <laughs> I just want to quickly put this up to you, what the design I've been marinating on, because you can see this will be the side profile. Um, the door will be in the back, right? So it's just one steady increase in pitch for the, um, for the roof line, right? So it would just be a steady, kind of like a shed roof, but opposite. Instead of going this way, it's going that way. And uh, the windows are kind of like rough placement. But uh, if you look at the floor plan from above, this is where you enter. This is the front part. That uh, This is the tongue. So you would enter through here in the back. Couch here, right? Little side table. You got seven feet of space there. Uh, a desk area here or however you want to do it. You can have a desk sitting out. We'd have a TV. You can either have a TV on the wall here or a window. Completely up to you. So while you're sitting there on your couch, you can look at your TV. Uh, going down the hallway would be the bathroom. So you can have a sink here, shower, toilet. And it'd be a pocket door there. And then the kitchen will be a full 10 feet. The reason we do that is we really want to be able to put a washer and dryer beneath the uh, uh, butcher block countertop, or you can do quartz, I guess, we haven't decided. Uh, you'd have a sink and we put a cooktop somewhere along here. So you'd have a large pantry here. So pantry, fridge, um, washer and dryer, and um, sink. So moving beyond that, there'll be a pocket door and essentially you could either put a queen or a full size bed here and then have a pocket door so you can kind of close that off for privacy. So basically in 20 feet with a downstairs sleeping area, you have a fully functional home. So if this is something you might be interested in, you can pre-order. Of course, this probably might change a little bit. We can just get the conversation going. Uh, so you can email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com. And if you have feedback um, or any ideas below in the comments, let us know. All right, thanks for watching.